First off, talk about the challenge facing you this week. Uh, obviously, one of your biggest games of the year, if not the biggest game, when you take on Dwenger. So what are some of the things that you guys are going to have to do on Friday night to be successful? Well, they've, they've improved tremendously over the course of the last month. So uh, we got our hands, our work cut out for us. We know that. Uh, we need to execute very well offensively, uh, limit big plays more on defense. And the deciding factor could be uh, special teams play. And uh, we need to make some big plays and, and create some on, in that area of the game to, to have a chance to win. But it uh, should be fun. should be a good game. When you take a look at uh, the Saints improvement, where's the biggest area? Is it, is it the offense? Because I know they, you know, they replaced who their starting quarterback was in Dalton Wheeler. They had a sophomore, and he's kind of gaining that experience and seems to be playing much better, and the offense is clicking as a whole. Well, it seems like there's some correlation between that switch and, and uh, uh, the success they've started to have. Uh, Fia Cable's a good young quarterback. Wheeler's a heck of a football player, so he's, he's, he may, maybe this is where he belonged. I don't know, but... Uh, about the time they made that switch is when they started to play better. And defensively, they've been pretty sound all year. So uh, we know the challenges that they, they present. Talk about your offense because, uh, you know, you've been putting up a lot of points, had a good game down at Brebuff. What is it about this offense that uh, is going to be the key on Friday night against what the Saints do defensively? Because you've been, you've been a big play offense but also a consistent offense in, move, in terms of moving the football. Well, we're balanced, and we spread it around, and we need to continue to do that, and we need to not turn it over. Uh, we had that issue down down last Friday, but uh, we need to cut back on our penalties and not turn the ball over. And we have some explosive kids. Uh, we can hit you with the home run, and we can grind away. We think so. Uh, we need to do all parts of that equally well. When you take a look at this game, this is obviously one of the ones you you know you circle on the schedule, especially considering for you guys, you know it's a, it's an SAC championship deciding game. So. The mentality of, of going into this game, what is it, and how much have you guys been preparing for this all season? Uh, well, you know, it's week nine for the second year in a row. We have a chance to play for the victory bell. Um, I can't ask any more of our kids other than to, to play their best football game. Uh, Dwinger played theirs last year. Uh, we need to play our best game this year if we want to be successful. But it's, uh, it's fun. It's great to, be, to have this opportunity at the end of the year. Anything else you'd like to add? I don't think so.